morning, respected teachers and my dear friends. Today my project is a food permit. First of all, what is food permit? Food permit or diet permit is a triangular diagram represent the optimal number of serving. Uh, to eat, uh, of serving to be eaten each day or each time of the, of the basics of food groups. The first permit was published in Sweden the, uh, in 17, no, sorry, 1974. In 1992, the permit was introduced in United States Department of Agriculture, USDA, was called Food Guide Permit. It was updated in 2005, and then it was replaced by my plate in 2011. Already, amid high food prices in 1972, uh, Sweden, National Board of Health and Welfare developed the idea of basic foods that were both cheap and nutritious, and supplements food that added nutrition missing from the basic food. Anister developed the idea into the first food pyramid, which introduced the published in 1974 in KFS magazine. The pyramid was divided into sections. The basic food at the, uh, at the base, including milk, cheese, bread, krills, and potato. A large section of supplements, vegetables, and fruits. History. The USDA, the USDA food pyramid was created in 1992 and divided into six horizontal sections containing the uh, depictions of food from each sectional food group. It was updated in 2005 with colorful vertical switch replacing the horizontal sections and renamed my pyramid. There are six categories of the pyramid. First, grain products, bread and cream rice and pasta. Second one is the fruits and vegetables. Milk products like uh, milk, yogurt, cheese. And we have uh, uh, meats and other high proteins, food lean meats. Fish, for example, we have the, the chicken right here and the milk. And we have fat and oil and sweet, for example, the, the chocolate. How it's arranged from inside. First of all, we have the fats, oil and sweet. Second one, we have the milk products, as we said, such as milk, yogurt and cheese. Uh, we have also meats and other high proteins food. We have vegetables and fruits. At the last section, we have grains, which is contained about uh, a whole grain bread, bagel, English muffin, and thank you. The shape of the why did they choose this pyramid shape? Is there a message in the shape of in the design? Why didn't they just say like levels, like a bookcase? No, because uh, the, uh, as you can see down, it's taking a larger place. So from here you can take like a more amount, more than the like the, the upper of it. You, you understand me? Okay. Like as you can see here, it's so small, so you can take a low, a low amount of. It. Is so is the stuff at the top really healthy food? No. Okay. So you should have less of it. Then, but right? we actually need them. It's not healthy, but we still need them. Correct. We need it, but but it's a lesser amount. The yes. More staple things: the starches and the proteins and the fruits and the vegetables with the vitamins and the minerals. Those are. More yes. important, so you have greater amounts of those, yes. correct? Okay. Uh, you said they don't use this shape anymore? No, they still use it. They still use it? Oh, I thought you said they replaced it with something. No, they replaced it and they named it my plate in 2011. Ah, so it's more of a rounded type thing, like a pie chart? Uh, yeah. Yeah? Okay. Um, did you learn something? Did you know about the food pyramid before you started your project? Yeah, of course it helps. It helps the people who want to lose weight so that they can make a schedule for them yeah. for their food. But I mean, did you yourself before you started the project? Did you know about it, or did you learn about it as you did the project? No, no, I knew about it. You know about it. Okay, good job, Mark. Thank you.